Well, all right, welcome back to As It Should Be. Paul Berlino here in the world famous As It Should Be archives. And today I'm doing another track versus track video. And I figured today I would do two absolute classic 70s Elton John albums. 1972's Honky Chateau versus 1973's Don't Shoot Me, I'm Only the Piano Player. Yeah, man, two great Elton John albums, and uh, let's get right on it, okay? All right. Now, it's 10 tracks each, and I have ranked the tracks on each album, and that's how I'm putting them up against one another. Going from 10 to 1, from my least favorite to my, to my very favorite on each, and uh, choosing tracks. So here we go. Okay, so coming in at number 10, on Honky Chateau, I have Hercules. Yeah, it's actually the last track on the album, and uh, it's my, my least favorite track on the album, but there isn't a track I dislike on this, so Hercules is a great track. Just my least favorite, and that goes up against my least favorite coming in at number 10 on Don't Shoot Me, which is Texan Love Song. hi yi yippee yi yi No, I don't like that track at all. I easily give that to Hercules. Yeah. All right. So, Honky Chateau gets one. Okay. So, coming in number nine on Honky Chateau is Amy. Yeah. And uh, I put at number nine on Don't Shoot Me, Teacher, I Need You, which is the second track. Yeah. Eh, Not really a very strong track. I used to like this album a lot less than I do now, and part of, I think, what what kind of made me perceive it as a weaker album is that one of the weakest tracks is track number two. I mean, Teacher, I Need You? Eh, not a great track, given that one to Honky Chateau. Okay, so, coming in at number eight on Honky Chateau is Salvation, the opening track on side two, and that goes up against track number eight, the song that came in at track number eight. Take two. That goes up against the track that I put at number eight, that I ranked at number eight on Don't Shoot Me, and that is Crocodile Rock. (laughs) Yeah, I ranked that kind of low. You know, I used to really love Crocodile Rock when I was a kid in the 70s, and I I like it now, but it's definitely fallen off. It's not a favorite of mine anymore. Um, But you know what? I'll take it over Salvation, and I and I love Salvation, but I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Crocodile Rock over that. So, coming in at number seven. Coming in at number seven on Honky Chateau, I have Slave. Yeah, Slave. We're getting the good ones now. And that goes up against the track I ranked at number seven on Don't Shoot Me, which is High Flying Bird, the closing track of that album. And, uh... Hmm. Eh, I'm gonna go Slave. Another one for Honky Chateau. Okay, so... Ranked at number six on Honky Chateau, I have Susie. And, well, that goes against the track that I ranked at number six on Don't Shoot Me, which is Midnight Creeper. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go Susie. (laughs) Uh, Honky Chateau is just running away with this so far. Okay, um, so the track that I ranked at number five on Honky Chateau is I think I'm gonna kill myself cause a little suicide and that goes up against the track that I put at number five on Don't Shoot Me which is I'm going to be a teenage idol. Ooh, that's kind of neck and neck. That's kind of neck and neck that one. Hmm. Ooh. But, you know, I think I'm going to kill myself. I'm going, that's, that's, a, that's another one for Honky Chateau. Uh, well, clearly Honky Chateau is going to win this, but let's see what I get from here on out. Okay, so coming in at number four on Honky Chateau, Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's. Oof, man, and that goes up against a track that I put at number four on Don't Shoot Me, which is Elderberry Wine. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's. <laughs> Another one for Honky Chateau. Yeah, okay. All right. So coming in at number three. Coming in at number three on Honky Chateau, I have Honky Cat, the opening track. And that goes up against the track I ranked at number three on Don't Shoot Me, which is Blues for Baby and Me. Hmm. 
you know what? Blues for baby and me. Yeah, yeah. Don't shoot me actually gets another one. Okay. All right. So that brings us to my second favorite song on Honky Chateau, which is the second track on the album, Mellow. And that goes up against my second favorite track on Don't Shoot Me, which is Have Mercy on the Criminal, the opening track on side two. Mmm. Man, that was a good... Oh, man, that's those are... Oof. Oof. Oh, I have to think about this. Ooh, man, I really love both those tracks. Mellow versus Have Mercy on the Criminal. Have Mercy on the Criminal is the return of Paul Buckmaster. He brings the, the string arrangements. But Mellow, oh. Yeah, you know what? I'm going Have Mercy on the Criminal. I, oh, man, I really love Mellow. But Have Mercy on the Criminal is just a little, oh, just a little meatier, I think. Ah, ah, okay, so my favorite tracks, my very favorite track on Honky Chateau is, of course, Rocket Man. Yeah, one of my favorite Elton John tracks, and that goes against my favorite track on Don't Shoot Me, which is Daniel. All right, so I have the biggest hits up at number one. Well, you know, they're the best songs, and Daniel, oh, I really love Daniel, but you know what? Pfft. Rocket Man, easily. Okay. All right, so Honky Chateau obviously completely ran away with this, and that goes, blah, blah, blah. what do we have for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for Honky Chateau, uh, merely three for Don't Shoot Me. So, there you go. The winner and champion, Honky Chateau. Yes, Don't Shoot Me, still a great one, but yeah, Honky Chateau really is a better album. Why put them against each other when you know that Honky Chateau is better? Because it doesn't matter. Because it's a fun video. Who cares? Dumb party game. Track versus track. Just a lot of fun. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. And uh, thank you for subscribing if you have. But if you haven't, consider subscribing. If you do, click the little bell for notifications. And uh, shout out to Dr. Fuck, Ralph Vieira, Almost Human Channel, the originator of the track versus track idea. I salute him and uh, come back on Thursday because Crystal Durant and Tommy Bonvoort are going to be back in the world famous As It Should Be Studios and we're going to be continuing our Albums of the Year series. And uh, this Thursday we're going to be ranking our, or discussing our favorite albums for this year. <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm shooting a bunch of videos in advance so I don't really know which week this is going up. So this is the year we're going to be doing this week. All right. All right. Everybody, I will be seeing you soon.